and we're back in the attic. So we got no heat call. Got a good man. So let's see what's going on with it. So here we go. So we're checking to see if we have a diagnostic light. And is there anything in there? I don't see anything. I could have sworn I saw a flash. Let me turn the light on. Okay, we got a diagnostic light. One. Okay, we have one flash. We got the zoning situation. So there's a zone board over there. And we got some zone dampers. So, let's go ahead and verify if the unit itself works, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so what's happening is our inducer turns on, pressure switch closes, igniter kicks on. Uh, then I hear the click for the gas valve, but it never ignites. Then I get a two flash, which means pressure switch stuck closed, and that's just because it's restarting. Um, then it locks out after three tries. So either the valve is bad or I'm not getting voltage to the actual valve. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna verify if voltage is being sent to this. Um, and in the meantime, we'll go ahead and ohm this out and see if the actual, uh, you know, and it is on, uh, see if the valve is bad. All right, so the middle is common. The top one is low fire. And we do have ohms. So now I'm doing high fire. So valve seems to be all right. So now we just need to see if we're making a good connection point. Okay, so I just want to be sure that we're not getting voltage. So sometimes when you plug in the back, you're not getting good contact. I've already identified that seven and eight is low fire. And then uh, eight and one is high fire. Yeah, no voltage. So now I'm gonna check it from here make sure it's not the wire. Okay, so we have it on seven and eight, that's low fire. Okay, so I have voltage. So it's not making it. So we might have a bad connection. Let's try this again. So the voltage isn't making it through the wire for some reason. So we need to go ahead and trace that. So the common goes directly onto directly to the board. The other one is broken by this switch here. Let's verify that this is actually closing. User is on. Make sure this is, oh, look at this. So we're still getting igniter. And that's not closing. So that might be our problem. So this is our low fire pressure switch, it looks like, and it's not closing. But why is the igniter kicking on? Because it's closing the other pressure switches. But since this isn't, it's not allowing the voltage to make it to the valve. So we need to see what's going on with that. So this is point, point 0.10 to close. So we're going to go ahead and check the tube, make sure it's not plugged. All right, so I took the tube off and it's full of water. So that's not a good sign. there's any water in the switch so that's good all right so we're gonna go ahead and clean out that nipple in there all right so seeing how it's like that we want to mount the tube upwards that way if there is any water it'll drain back into that collector box um, so we'll just put a zip tie right here and hold that in place that way the water doesn't stay in the tube we're also going to clear out the drain line and all that good stuff too just to be safe so yeah, but we got everything cleaned up. So we're gonna go ahead and cycle this on, make sure that thing closes, and then we'll put it all back together and see if she fires. Alrighty, she's closing now. All right, we're gonna plug all this stuff in. Let's see if it, ah, it fires now. So we verify that that pressure switch is actually closed. So it looks like it was plugged up with water. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and zip tie this up so there's a downward pitch going back to the collector box. That way the water won't get stuck in the tube. And yeah, still 
filter's dirty. Oh, yeah, it's really dirty. Oh, August of 2023, yeah, definitely dirty. It's over a year old. All right, so we got the filter changed out. The thermostat's calling, so I just want to verify that it works with the thermostat. Uh, so we got inducer, pressure switch is closed. Igniter's kicking on. And we should be getting some gas valve, so hopefully that closed. Sweet. All right, cool. So we're back up and running. So it was because of this pressure switch was not closing because a little bit of water got caught in this tube. So we pulled it up, zip tied it, which is creating a downhill. So if there's any water in here, it'll drain back into the collector plug in the future so. so i wanted to go over a little bit of what was going on with the system and i've i, I drew out a, a simple um schematic for you just to kind of explain because this is kind of a different setup here I, i've actually never seen this kind of setup uh especially on goodman so basically what happens we have two pressure switch we have pressure switch one uh which basically is like your standard pressure switch 24 volts goes into it it closes allows 24 volts to go back into the board which proves that the pressure switch closed then it'll go ahead and call for the igniter. But in this case, our other pressure switch was not closing, but the igniter was still turning on. So usually if a pressure switch doesn't close, the igniter just won't turn on. So that usually means the pressure switch hasn't closed. Uh, you got a circuit board error or you have um, a bad igniter. But in this case, the, the igniter turned on. So that was kind of throwing me off at first because I was like, wait a minute, what? the igniter's turning on, so maybe it's a bad gas valve. Um, but in this case, we have pressure switch two, which you can see here on my schematic. Pressure switch two is actually in line with the 24 volts that goes to the gas valve. So pressure switch one closed, which allowed the igniter to be energized. Uh, and then it would send voltage to the gas valve. But since pressure switch two didn't cl actually close, it didn't allow 24 volts to the gas valve. Therefore, it didn't ignite. Um, so normally what will happen is the pressure switch will close which will allow the igniter and the gas valve to go ahead and get energized. Uh, I just wanted to kind of you know, go over that because this is a very different system. So in this case, I originally thought that we had a bad gas valve or maybe a bad board where it wasn't sending voltage. Um, and that's why I was testing for voltage at the gas valve. And then I tested it at the actual circuit board just to see if there was even voltage being sent at all. And then when I saw there was voltage coming out of the board, but there was nothing coming into the actual valve, then I just traced the wire to see what was in between those two. And so in this case, we had a pressure switch, which wasn't closing. So it was cutting off the power going to the valve. So, um, because I had no idea that that's what was happening. I didn't even look at the schematic, but you know, if you use this process, you can usually kind of figure things out. So anyway, I just wanted to go over that a little bit and um, you know, just th hopefully the visual helps explaining how that works. But if you come across this, uh, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you like the tools I use, uh, pick up a set of your own on my Amazon store. Thanks for watching.